So uh, I decided probably like early fall senior year. Uh, so relatively late. Uh, I hadn't really thought about what I was doing after college. And for the most part, I didn't even, I wasn't even sure about, about my major until maybe junior year. Uh, and so because of that reason, like I, I completed my degree on time, but I hadn't been able to go deep on any particular, uh, you know, focus within like essentially uh, 6-2. And that meant that I, I just felt like I could learn a lot more by doing at least a master's degree. Um, for me, I think the objective was like, where can I go to learn the most uh, in the shortest amount of time? And obviously you can learn a lot in industry, uh, but I felt that I was still lacking a lot of the theoretical knowledge that I felt like I should have to do the kind of work that I thought I wanted to do. Uh, and as big as that all was in my head, I felt like grad school was kind of a, like a free, like, let's, you know, this is guaranteed to teach me something. Uh, and I also just wasn't sure what kind of company I wanted to work at anyway. And I felt like if you, if you go into a, a job without uh, kind of a, a clear idea, um, of what you want to learn, you'll end up doing work and getting paid, uh, and, and probably enjoying yourself. Um, but you won't be able to learn as much as you could in grad school. My journey to arrive at grad school, um, I did mechanical engineering undergrad and I kind of realized around my junior year that I wasn't super interested in the work I was doing in my classes and I had a mechanical engineering internship where I was kind of working on engineering drawings and SOLIDWORKS design. And I basically came to the realization that I didn't want to graduate and end up working in a job where I was doing that kind of stuff every day because I just didn't find it interesting. I realized it wasn't the right field for me. So towards my junior year, I started trying to look and see what could I do to kind of shift, shift fields and find something I was more interested in. Um, I ended up doing a software engineering internship after my junior year, and I had not taken any CS classes before. I wasn't familiar with robotics, but it was an internship that exposed me to like visual navigation and some different fields in robotics, and I realized that I really liked that. And I was working with a lot of people who did mechanical engineering undergrads and then went to grad school and focused a little bit more on robotics and navigation topics. And so that kind of laid out the model to me of what I could do uh, with my background. So I actually didn't decide to go to grad school until the summer before my senior year. Um, I started looking at programs where I could work on visual navigation and I found the lab, the ACL at MIT, and there was a bunch of interesting work there. So um, yeah, I decided to do that and Basically, it was because I, there, I know plenty of undergrads who would have had the skills they need to work in robotics or in visual navigation straight out of undergrad, but I didn't, I didn't know immediately going into undergrad what I wanted to do, so I didn't take the classes that would have prepared me. I didn't have the right skills, so going into grad school was a way for me to build those skills and have control over what I was working on and what I was learning and kind of um, build the build my resume to the point where I could get those jobs after grad school? Probably, uh, at least when I first got into MIT and I kind of heard about like um, the MEng program, it always was kind of like interesting to me. Um, I feel like at the time, I didn't necessarily know exactly all the steps needed to get into grad school, um, but I thought at least MEng would be kind of like a one year or one and a half year thing that would at least show me uh, what it would be like to kind of do like a PhD or move on further. Um, I think I didn't really know like completely for sure what topic I wanted to study until maybe like junior, senior year when I was kind of working on year offs with, uh, you know, Shigen and uh, Donkey who were, you know, really instructive and helpful for me in my path. Um, but yeah, I, I also really liked um, the robotics class, the like 6141, like kind of like introduced me to all these different areas of robotics more than just like, I had done like a FRC first robotics in high school. And I knew that that was something I was interested in, but to know what all the different kind of fields were was something that 
classes kind of taught me.